Mr Speaker, this country must return to normality and it's incumbent upon us in this place to take the lead. Does the leader agree that we now need to proactively mitigate the risks of operating in a COVID-secure environment and get this chamber functioning normally? Leader of the House. Um, <laughs> well, well um, um, Mr Speaker, that is a very good point because I was about to say that it is more your responsibility than mine and I'm always, I'm always very cautious of treading on your, on your toes. Though, um, there was a bit of a double act with your predecessor who used to, um, who used to interfere uh, sometimes in question time and answer questions that directed the Leader of the House. Um, uh, but it's been slightly... Um, more normal under your uh, period of office. However, um, I am really keen that this chamber should be as full as it possibly and safely can be. And, Mr Speaker, I'm sure you saw the comments and debate last night, people saying, can we use the galleries, can we have microphones uh, at the crossbenches at the back, can we do things to get more people in? And um, I am very keen that we should. Uh, I think, Mr Speaker, I can speak for you in saying that you are keen that we should, but we slightly run up against the official advice from PHE, and it is difficult, it is difficult for this House of all places to ignore the advice that is being given by an official body. Um, so that is, that is where we are slightly stymied, but perhaps they will be more flexible, and then I know Mr Speaker will encourage more people to come in. Judith Cummins. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Leader of the House, can we have a statement?